Maureen Nyaboke was today arraigned before Kembo Chief Magistrate Emilio Minde just a day after her arrest. The prosecution has granted 10 days to complete investigations and conduct mental assessment to determine if she's free to stand trial. She'll be brought back to court on the 14th of March for plea taking. She's said to have been employed as a house help on February 22nd by Monica Wangoi at Kiamombi Estate in Kiambu. Wangoi then left for work the following day, leaving her one and a half year old son and Kibe under Nyaboki's care. When she returned home in the evening, she found the child with injuries on the head, face and swollen hips. Nyaboke claimed the child had fallen down in the house. Angoi took the child to hospital where he died while undergoing treatment with the cause of death identified as internal bleeding. The late Kibe was on Thursday late to rest at his mother's home in Kiambururu village, Gidungori sub-county. Meanwhile, the probe into the death of Ken Jokoma brothers continued on Thursday morning with one of the witnesses, Chris Hunt, being cross-examined on his testimony. He told the court that on their way home, they spotted a police land cruiser parked by the road with a police officer in civilian clothes standing outside the car. The person will then chase them and as they took off, they had Emmanuel Mutura, one of the two deceased, fall. The hearing continues. Finally, a middle-aged businessman, Joseph Masharia, has been charged with fraud of over 20 million shillings. He is said to have falsely obtained the money from Salome Wangoi, purporting to engage her in a joint business of supplying school uniforms. Masharia pleaded not guilty and was granted a bond of 5 million shillings or a cash bill of 1 million shillings. The matter will be mentioned on 17th March 2022 for pre-trial directions. Sarafina Roby for Prime Edition.